It all comes down to one point, one moment that everything that we worked for all of our lives has led to a moment where every action we took every decision that we made is gonna impact the outcome of our future when that moment comes we should be prepared will that be enough our will our life be enough to get past what's ahead when Goku achieved ultra instinct he unlocked the power of the angels the power to make him ascend beyond the gods of destruction and beyond every mortal that there was with it came a price it took a toll on him and to this point he still couldn't master it and then a foe came one who's immortal who lived for millions of years and this foe challenged goku to the extreme and in the last chapter of the dragon ball super manga goku ascended once more to ultra instinct on his own this time but will that be enough to be this immortal Will it be enough to make Goku get past this moment and save everyone? Everything in his life has led him to this point. The point where now his decisions, his actions will have the biggest impact on everyone's future. And this is the story of chapter 59 of Dragon Ball Super. Goku's last angelic stand. As Goku transformed to his Ultra Instinct form for the first time after the Tournament of Power and this time on his own, everyone sees what happened to him and they're happy to see that as he's standing in front of Moro. Moro himself doesn't believe that a low life form like him could use such a divine technique. He's surprised and him knowing what Ultra Instinct is just shows how much knowledge Moro has. Goku takes his fighting form tells more let's do this as you wish Goku and now their fight is about to start the fate of the entire universe is riding on this fight and thus Goku starts it as he punches the air and hits Moro then he delivers more and more punches in the air but he's not moving he's hitting the air and his punches are connecting Moro takes his defensive stand to try and block Goku's attack Goku is just hitting him with an attack after the other. As Jaku says, he's wiping his fists really fast to fire off blasts of air. So because of how fast his punches are, the force of the punch is what's hitting Moro. He gets tired of this. He attacks Goku from behind, fires many key blasts at him. As they're about to hit Goku, he just flies through them right towards Moro with a punch that Moro blocks. But that's not it. He teleports behind him and lands a kick on him and then goes at him with an attack after the other which more tries to block but the thing is even Goku in his ultra instinct form is not quite enough to take out Moro just yet Moro is evading his attacks and blocking them I know he's not in his master ultra instinct form but even in this signed form he's still fast he's still a force to be reckoned with but Moro is slowly getting the hand this. He even tells him that this technique boosts heightened agility so it makes him fast. So be it. He puts energy locks on Goku's hands and feet and stops him. Now he gets the first hit on Goku as he delivers a kick that throws him down. Before hitting the ground Goku shakes himself out of the locks and teleports away from the ground right behind Moro. He asks him if this was his magic. Moro tells him that it was but only a single exam out of a number my techniques and on planet Yardra. Vegeta's still there. He notices that Moro is making his moves and he notices Goku's key but that's actually weird since Goku in his ultra instinct form no one can sense him. It's something that not like God key in a sense but very different. The fact that Vegeta can sense Goku just shows how far Vegeta has come in planet Yardra. And back to earth. Goku has the edge for He's evading the key attacks from Moro, one after the other. He also tells the Z fighters to back off some more. They tell Goku that he doesn't need to worry about the Earth. They have the dragon, so they can bring everything back to normal. So now he can fight more freely. With that, he goes straight ahead through all of the attacks and starts charging the Kamehameha as he's going at him. Then he jumps up right in front of Moro as he charges the last of the Kamehameha. He looks away, he's not gonna fire the Kamehameha at Moro, then he fires it towards the sky. But Moro is there, it's a direct hit. He blocks it, the one behind him is just an afterimage of Moro, a clone of him. And Goku noticed that 
He saw right through his illusion. It's not the first time someone used that trick before. He got him with a Kamehameha. He's firing everything that he has at him. As Goku's putting everything that he has in it. More was just blocking it. Goku teleports then. More teleports. And they go at each other in the sky. More blocks Goku's attacks. But not for long. He gets a head bump on him. Then he kicks him but he's, he's falling. More uses an ability that draws Goku towards him. He's coming closer. Goku starts attacking him one after the other as the distance is closing on them. That doesn't stop more. He draws him closer and closer until they're right in front of each other. More punches him in his stomach and Goku delivers one on him too. They both got hurt bad and thus they break off but not for long as they go once more each other but this time Goku goes at more at full speed he tries absorbing his energy our Saiyan notices that and uses his full speed to evade his technique he vanished right behind the more he punches him on his face but more grabs his hand and throws him away then he tries to absorb his energy once more but again Goku moves really fast to not make him absorb his energy our Saiyan is just going at him straight ahead he's landing punch after the other. Then he lands a kick as more tries to counter attack. Goku evades his attack and launches himself back at him with a kick. He's winning against more this time. He's not stopping. After that kick he goes in with another and another. With the last one he throws him way back crashing towards the ground. On Pierce's planet. Mirrors and Whis are watching the fight. They're impressed. But the thing is as Whis asks if he mastered Ultra Instinct. Mirrors looks down at the ground and says no about that. So something is different. Goku even though he has Ultra Instinct he doesn't has it to its fullest extent. Back to the fight. Goku still winning against him. But to break off the fight. Moro draws energy from the ground. And the fight breaks off. Moro tells him I only consume energy to fill my stomach. Weakening my opponents and strengthening myself are only fortunate side effects, not the primary goal. As such, I will happily devour your energy after you are defeated. He smiles. You thought this was all I could muster, you fool. With that, Moro powers up even more. He releases a lot of energy that throws everyone in shock. Moro has powered up and changed. He says, I've consumed countless planets since our previous encounter, all of which have filled me with enough power to transcend the very gods. Not only that Goku has the power beyond the gods, also Moro has it. With that, he doesn't take enough time. He fires an energy attack straight at Goku. He deflects it, but from behind him, it's Moro. He grabs him with both of his hands and puts him on a lock. He tells him, now I understand why you didn't employ this form during the entire fight against Sagampo. He tightens his grip on him with full force, which makes Goku fall. As he turns back to his normal form, he grabs him by his head and tells him, it's because you can't maintain it for long. Then he throws him to the mountain ahead. Now the tables have turned. Goku wasn't enough for now to take out Moro. Moro showed his power. And what will happen now? What's the fate of the earth as the Ultra Instinct Goku is now failing against him? What will the final stand? Be back with mirrors and whiz. He tells him that he was able only to achieve the sign level. He couldn't achieve the true ultra instinct form. The sign form, as we says, is only a gateway to ultra instinct and it isn't stable. Maintaining that instability consumes an enormous amount of stamina. And this is what Moro has noticed. This battle hinges on Goku's ability to manage that energy drain while keeping up the sign form as long as possible. So the thing is, either Goku achieves mastered Ultra Instinct, or he figures out a way to maintain his stamina while using Ultra Instinct side. Back to the two, Goku gets up, Moro tells him, you hope to bring about to a hasty conclusion, while you still have the stamina for it, but too bad for you. I've been waiting for your inevitable decline. Goku tells him with a smile, I should have realized, you already figured out my weakness but still if you were just stalling for time that means you don't think you can beat me when i'm at full power and if i can keep hitting you with all i've got i can win this goku transforms back to his ultra instinct side form what he's saying makes sense if he knows that he can beat goku at full power why did he stall goku says with a smile as he's looking at more sorry mirrors but a stamina balancing act during battle just isn't my style. 
more tells him, so he still had some power left. Good. Now I am intrigued. He's not afraid. He's happy. This is all what this villain always wanted to absorb someone's energy. Someone whose power is enormous like Goku. And this is his time. If he absorbs his energy, no one can stop him. And the universe will be only for him. And with that, we come to the conclusion of chapter 59 of the Dragon Ball Super Manga. The story of Goku's last angelic stand. Sometimes we reach something that might be the end or a new beginning. Our actions decide the outcome. Goku who lived for many years on earth has never faced someone like this. All of his hard work, all of his life is on the line to save not just earth but the entire universe. And this time he's gonna show us what he's made of. This was the story of his final stand. The story of Goku's final angelic stand. Thank you for watching and saying that I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.